Hey guys, it's Kelly, and I'm here to do an acne, um, top tips and tricks video, um, for, it's actually a Claro giveaway, I think is what it's called, and it's by, um, Blair Fowler, um, her username is, uh, Juicy Star something, I don't know the numbers, but, um, anyway, I'm actually really excited that this came up as a contest, because I have been wanting to do an acne for you guys for, you guys for quite some time, especially with summer coming up, because, you know, you don't want to cake on all the makeup and things like that. So I'm just gonna, um, jump right in, that actually brings me to my first makeup tip. Um, before I start, though, you guys should know that I have so many, and I was trying to narrow it down so the video wouldn't be too long, so hopefully it's not too long. But, um, okay, summer's coming up, and... The worst thing you can do for your acne, first of all, is put on a bunch of makeup and not wash it off. You always want to wash off your makeup, even if it's just eye makeup. You always want to take that off at night. Um, I know I'm even guilty of it, putting on makeup and then at night just being like, oh, I'm so tired, I don't feel like washing my face, and just going to bed with all my foundation and powder and um, bronzer on and everything. And that's actually really bad because that's going to go into your pores. So the biggest thing I can tell you guys is every night wash your face, even if it's just with like a quickie little like makeup remover wipe and then like a makeup or like a face washing wipe. I know like Garnier has some, I think, or Biore. I've used both of those. They both work really good. Another awesome tip I have for you guys is that, you know, they do have all these, like, um, really expensive, like, heat and light, which is actually what the contest is for, like, spot treatments, like, you hold it on there and it just, like, like, does some voodoo to it or something and, like, makes the pimple, like, disappear like magic. Those are really handy. However, a lot of people I know don't have money for that. I am one of them. So what I use is I use a spot treatment. Um... I've had to play around with a different number of spot treatments, and I actually ended up using the one that goes with my skin system. The um, face wash I'm using, I'm using the Clean Start by Dermalogica. That is a little bit pricier one. It's not that bad, but it's about $22 to $25 for each pro for each step, and there's five steps. Um, but I actually just purchased the spot treatment. I hadn't used that yet, and I've been using it a lot lately, and it has really been working a lot. So I'm definitely loving that. So definitely find a spot treatment that works for you. Sometimes you'll have to find one that dries them out. And um, you can even use toothpaste. Um, toothpaste can work as a spot treatment. You just put it on and let it sit overnight. Make sure you read those. Some spot, spot treatments you have to wash off, some you just leave on. So definitely check on that. Another tip I have for you guys is get a mask. I use my mask. Um, you're supposed to use it in the morning or my mask anyway, but I use it morning, night, depends what kind of mood I'm in, what kind of rush I'm in. I use it about three times a week, and I really like doing that because after I do it, my face just feels so much cleaner and softer and fresher, and honestly, my makeup just goes on, like, way better. Um, so again, you're going to have to experiment and find the right mask for you. I've tried the um, St. Helen or something, or Queen Helen mint jubile mask. It's, you can get it at pretty much any drugstore, Target, Walmart, anywhere like that. And that one actually smelled really good, but it did burn my face a little bit, as well as I used an um, avocado one or something like that, and that also burned my face. So I am now, again, using the Clean Start by Dermalogica mask, and I absolutely love it. Um, another tip I have for you guys is that... Um, I, I just forgot it. Another tip I have for you guys is don't be afraid to mix and mash, ma mash, mix and mash, mix and match your cleansers, your toners, your moisturizers, um, because it could actually work better for you if you use a cleanser from Myriad and a toner from Clinique and a moisturizer from Aveeno. Just mix things up, try and find what works best for you, um, research things, find out if you're allergic to anything, um, I know for me, I'm allergic to benzoyl peroxide, which stinks because that's in most face acne medicines, but anyway, um, the last tip I have for you guys is expensive isn't always better. I have a lot of friends that have absolutely perfect skin, and it just makes me really jealous, but they use, like, $2 face cleanser, like, I don't know what the brand is, like, not $2, but like, clean and clear, like, wash and toner, and they don't, or wash and moisturize, they don't use a toner, they don't use spot treatment, they don't use a mask, and their skin is perfectly clear. So, that's my last tip for you guys, is you gotta experiment to find what works for you, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not everything I use is gonna work for you guys, not everything my friends use works for me, for me, proactive broke me out even more, let's just put it that way, it, um, 
broke me out. I couldn't use it, and then I found out. That's when I found out I was allergic to benzoyl peroxide. Um, so, like, I know Skin ID works really good. That could work really good for you guys, too. But, again, it didn't work for me because everything has benzoyl peroxide in it. So those are my um, tips for you guys. I hope they're really, really helpful. I know clean skin is definitely something that we all want, something that we all, I guess you could say, crave. No, that just sounds really weird. But um, I was going to say something else. Okay guys, I have two more tips. The, actual, the last one actually just came to me when I was sitting here like this. Um, the biggest thing is try not to touch your face. I know I'm very guilty of that, especially in school. I will lean on my hand like this. And for a while I just had breakout going all down this side of my face. And it really irked me and I was like, you know what, it's because I'm leaning out my hand. So that's the biggest thing. Don't touch your face because your hands have a lot of oil in them and grease. If you are gonna touch your face for any reason just like scratch it or something very lightly um but like i said don't touch your face don't be like oh rubbing your face or anything like that because it's very very bad for your skin the very last tip i have for you guys and that's kind of like a tip and advice combined is everyone does break out even if you have perfect skin you're bound to get one little pimple so don't freak out especially during your menstrual cycle um because your hormones are imbalanced so you will get periods uh, or you will get you will get pimples. Um, so like I said, don't worry if you get one little pimple. It's just what makes you human. It's what makes you a teenager. I know adults that still even break out. Um, breaking out is just a fact of life, so I wouldn't stress about it. Um, you will find something that works for you. You could, like I said, drugstore, more expensive things. You could go to a dermatologist and get some kind of prescribed medicine. You could go on um, birth control. You could go on Accutane. Just make sure if you are going to do something like that, that you take all the precautions with it and read all the warnings and everything. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. If you have any acne questions, please feel free to comment. I will definitely respond because I know me, I used to have really bad acne. It's getting a little bit better now, but then my sister also had really bad acne. It's still a little iffy. She has a lot of red scarring. She has been going acne team three times, and it still not that her acne isn't that awesome or her face isn't that clear, but she is still a beautiful person. I just want you guys to know that if you have acne, you shouldn't feel ugly or anything like that. You still are a beautiful person and people still are going to like you for who you are. And I'm sounding really cheesy right now. But anyway, leave a comment if you have any questions because if I can't answer them, my sister can. If you have any questions about any type of face wash, I guarantee you I can tell them if they worked for me or my sister because combined, we've used literally every single face wash known to man. Like, not even kidding. I will bet you money if you name a face wash. I have heard of it and one of us has tried it. <laughs> so definitely um, ask away with questions and I will respond ASAP. So thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye!